Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. Today I'm speaking with Dr. Farzan Shakib, Vice President for CFD Technology for Altair Engineering. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. So let's start with what does Altair do? Altair is a mechanical uh, computer aided engineering application uh, provider that provides uh, both services as well as uh, technology software. And the software has a variety of different software technologies associated with engineering applications from geometry generations to meshing for UI to also solving physics. So when we talk about solving physics, what does that mean? Solving physics would be anywhere from stress analysis, for example, the chair that I'm sitting on, is it going to support my weight, okay, to this building, when the wind blows around it, uh, is it going to withstand it or, uh, and you know, applications uh, ranging from those, and also optimization calculations. Can I create a bus, for example, with a minimal amount of uh, aluminum in it? How do I do that? So let's zoom in a little bit, and w which particular products do you have that, that we should discuss in detail? Well, I'm an expert in the computational fluid dynamics, or CFD, technology. Really. So what, what is CFD? CFD is the ability of solving um, gases and liquids around and through objects, like water flowing through pipes or air around airplanes, um, and perhaps you know, gas going through the um, turbine engines as it explodes. So if you are creating, for example, a wing for uh, a wind turbine, for example, then first you, you start with the wind turbine, with the airfoils that you created. And then you specify what kind of a material goes around it. Wind turbine is easy. It's air, at, usually as a standard uh, atmospheric pressure. Now, does this really open up the whole CFD modeling process to a larger audience because you're cloud-based? Absolutely, but the application in particular with the CFD Calc, it takes it to the next level. Um, uh, it allows people to set up problems in much easier fashion. So the cloud itself gives you the ability to run multiple problems and, and use it as a, as a utility service. Uh, but the CFD Calc in particular, it provides a mechanism to give access to people who don't have much expertise. So it opens up the range of users. So if I was maybe an, uh, an industrial designer, I'm using my own 3D printer or my own desktop fabrication, yes. I've now got this ability to actually do CFD on my designs. Correct. But for that particular application, we still need to build the uh, specific vertical application for that application area uh, for the person to be able to do that. But the answer to that question is absolutely yes. Okay. So kind of thinking where we're at now and technology directions that technology is mm -hmm. going, where do you see this moving in the next couple of months or, or years even? It's basically bringing the usage of CFD or in reality any kind of a engineering application um, to a more of a more of a masses. So going from uh, companies, uh, Fortune 500 companies that have unlimited resources to people who occasionally solve problems and they try to do the uh, optimization. And as you mentioned, the final goal of any uh, design application is the optimization of their design. And that is the direction we are moving towards and the cloud computing is providing us with that means. Oh, I've really enjoyed speaking with you and really appreciate mm -hmm. you taking the time to come by today. Thanks so much. Uh, thank you. This has been the AWS Report and I'm Jeff Barr.